Hi there, it's Lori Dake again with Kel Realty, your Illinois licensed broker. And hey, the deal's done, you got your keys, and you're ready to start moving in. What are the things you need to do now? Stick around and find out. Okay, and we're back. So the first thing you're going to want to do starts right here at the front door, and that is to change locks. Just think about it. How many times has a home been owned, right? Or rented out, or they gave the keys to a friend, things like that. That's a lot of people who have access to your home. So call a locksmith, get them to do it right. All right. Now, while you've got the guys out front changing the locks to your new home, the other thing you want to be doing immediately is putting away every document you got at closing someplace secure. Now, the quick and easy way to do it, maybe for folks who aren't nor used to being so organized, is getting yourself a filing cabinet. They're 50 bucks at Target, all right? But what's a much smarter thing to do is put things away at least in a floor bolted fire safe. That way, if there is a fire, you won't have to worry about those documents being available for the insurance guys, maybe for the fire department or the police or anything like that. You also, it's a great place to put your other valuables such as jewelry, such as Oh, I don't know, your passport, your social security card, your birth certificate, things that you don't want to be digging for when you need it, right? And things that can cause liability towards your identity, right? Preventing identity theft. So make sure that you put that stuff away. And hey, when you go to refi, they're going to need some stuff from you, right? And especially when you go to sell your home, that agent, me, <laughs> is going to need some of those documents too to list your home. So very important that you put that stuff away in a safe place that you will easily find it later. Okay, so they changed the locks out for you and you got all your stuff put away nice and secure, right? Well, now it's time in case you haven't done this already, you probably were waiting until after the deal was done so you didn't jinx things. Get yourself a hot cup of something something and get out your computer because you're going to be sitting here for a little bit. We got some work to do. First thing, in case you haven't scheduled it already, you're going to need your utilities turned on. So we're talking electric, the gas, uh, your cable your internet, your water, your garbage, all that kind of stuff. You're going to want that taken care of as soon as you can. You might even be walking into a home with the utility shut off already, you know, because the uh, seller is like, eh, we're done here. <laughs> so fortunately, it's been my experience that uh, Commonwealth Edison, they're pretty quick. Usually they can flip a switch on the other end remotely. So, at least you won't be sitting in the dark. <laughs> but gas, well, that can take a week. And if you're waiting on Comcast, well, they got to come out too. So, maybe you want to try to get those guys coming at the same time if you can, since you got to wait around. Uh, there's a lot of other things that you're going to have to contact too. You're going to have to contact the post office with your change of address. You might want to see if you have a friendly neighbor who can pick up your mail for a couple of days just in case they haven't switched things back at your old place. But hopefully there's a nice stream because they got a lot of that stuff done on the computer these days. You're going to need to go to the DMV, let them know about your new address. 
Oh, now you're going to have to also uh, change uh, your cell phone address. Even if you got this stuff on online bill pay, it's, you might actually save money if you move from the city to the suburbs. That's what happened to Ron and me. We actually were pleasantly surprised that our bill went down a little bit. Uh, oh my goodness. Uh, obviously, insurance, not just homeowner's insurance, but your car insurance, um, you know, uh, uh, life insurance, you got to let those guys know too. Um, well, boss man, he's going to know. I mean, even me as a realtor, I have to let them know <laughs> where I'm living these days, you know. Uh, that also, anybody that's in charge of your money, so we're talking, you know, the tax man, they need to know where you're at. Well, your CPA, he should know where you're at, <laughs> especially if you get refunds, right? Uh, Social Security Administration, if you get a check from them, they need to know where you're at now, too. Um, well, speaking of financials, uh, got to let your bank know. Got to get in touch with all of your credit card companies. I know. Like I said, make sure you got a uh, nice and comfortable sweater and everything else. Uh, any of your subscriptions, you're going to have to uh, update that. Oh, my goodness. Your Amazon deliveries, you got to let them know where you are. Even like stuff like your Grubhub, you got to update your your uh, delivery address, right? <laughs> um, memberships, Costco, they need to know where you are so that you can get the uh, little booklet there with all of the special sales. Uh, your doctor, your dentist, they need to know where to be sending the bills these days. And if you're too far out of the area, well, they might be able to get you like a referral or something. But of course, all that stuff, the most important people who need to know where you're at, that's your friends and family. So you let everybody know where you're at. Now they're expecting a housewarming party. Okay. <laughs> you know, a lot of times uh, the first thing that people bring is uh, maybe some flowers or plants for your garden. That's nice. Uh, but in the meantime, you might want to tidy it up and make it your own. Uh, when it comes to personalizing a home, the one thing that a lot of people do, but often isn't discussed, is here in the bathroom. Besides, you want to clean it to your level of clean and not just room swapped. A lot of people, they like changing the toilet seats and they also like changing out the shower heads. You don't know what's lurking in there you want it to feel more like your own. So, what questions do you have for me? I know you've got a few. Feel free to reach out to me. I'm always here to help. And remember, I always have time for you and your referrals.